All right, hey Aquarius, so we're doing a no contact read between you and the one on your mind. And it's a 30 to 60 day turnaround from when you see this. And you're going to know this is your read by how you feel about this person. So if that doesn't resonate, you guys check your other placements. And if you're new, welcome. And if you're still here and you haven't dropped off my sub base, you guys, thank you. I appreciate you. So life has just been pretty busy and hectic. And over on Facebook is where I've been doing the majority of my spiritual work. Um, so a lot of tarot readings over there, daily oracle, tarot card readings, memes, reels, readings that don't get published to, to YouTube, all that. So if you guys have a Facebook um, and enjoy my energy, you guys check me out over there. All right. So we're going to start with how you feel about this person. How you feel about the person on your mind. So we got that Ace of Swords coming through, Page of Pentacles. I feel like you guys are reflecting on the past quite a bit, um, but I can't help but feel like if the return is going to happen, they need to come to me. That's just kind of how I'm seeing that. Um, not that you're not wishing for this to come back through, but at this point, um, depending on how long it's been, um, it's like it's it's my turn to get shown up for, right? Um, you guys probably are not sick and tired of showing up for everyone else, but Maybe you guys gave a lot to this connection and it's this person's turn to actually show up, right? They're going to show up with that new beginning, with that new start, if they truly want this. That's just kind of how I'm seeing it. How you feel about this person. You got your King of Swords energy coming through. Um, and I can't help but feel like this might be a reflection of you, even though I know it's Gemini energy, but it's like I poured my heart out to this person. I told them my true feelings. I expressed how I you know, where I wanted this to go, what I wanted to do. And, you know, um, for whatever reason, you guys are in no contact. There is a separation going on here now. So I feel like um, the King of Swords is actually a representation of you just kind of telling this person how you feel and what you want to see from this, right? Um, you got your Page of Pentacles right here. And I just kind of feel like that might be um, a reflection on the past, the shoulda, coulda, wouldas. Um, but we're not going to think too deeply in the past, right? Because we do want to manifest something moving forward when it comes to this person. Cause this is also a manifestation card. Some of you guys could actually be manifesting some sort of communication, right? This new beginning with this person, it's going to be easier to do when we leave the past in the past. I'm just going to give you that heads up. So let's see um, who this person is. Who is this person? So we got Sagittarius, we got Taurus coming through, you got Gemini coming through, Gemini coming through again. So this person might be just a little bit um, in their head when it comes to things, right? The Eight of Swords can be associated with addictions, old ways of thinking, old habits. Um, you know, we have this um, Knight of Pentacles also showing up. So somebody who's been very, very late to the party, right? The party being this connection, um, you guys could be dealing with this person for months or years at that. Um, just because of how slow moving the Knight of Pentacles is depicted in tarot. Um, you know, so somebody who's kind of stuck in their ways is what I'm feeling about that Eight of Swords as far as their energy. Um, and, you know, there is a very, very deep connection here. So you have a confirmation on a soul level bond. But I can't help but feel like the communication, the energy of this person may have always just been pretty light. Um, not ever really serious. Um, no matter how big the feelings are. And it could be too that this person wrestles with themselves and their own, you know, inner demons and stuff like that. So one of the reasons why you guys might have not have seen a lot of change with this connection is because of the fact of this person struggling with themselves. Um, right? I can't see my hand in front of me because it's tied behind my back and I'm blindfolded. Um, I, I just wonder, like, with some of you, like... The mentality of this person i feel like they probably are very very hard on themselves i'm not in a position to do anything right now is almost how i'm feeling with this person um and i can't help but feel like they may choose to keep themselves in that state of mind even though they don't have to be in that state of mind um so almost somebody who is just really down on themselves um, and that's the reason why they can't move forward with anything when it comes to life um you can't fix them no matter how much love you love them, no matter how much you want to help them. Um, I just feel like it's, you're dealing with somebody you can't help fix. Um, they gotta, they gotta come out of that. They gotta dig themselves out of that tunnel. Let me say it like that. Okay. So how is this person feeling about you? 
how are they feeling about you? So like everything in life sucks since you've been gone. Throwing themselves a pity party, I'm sure. You got your six of coins coming through. We got the seven of swords also showing up. So I'm going to say this. I don't feel like you're a toxic energy in this person's life, but I feel like there's a lot of toxicity that's been exchanged in this connection. Um, how they feel about you. Like life has probably been really, really shaky for them ever since this disconnection. Like they could sit here and be thinking, what kind of witchcraft did you play on me? Because life my life, as I know it, is in shambles, but it probably was like that before you came along, too. Um, I can't help but feel like you might be dealing with somebody who doesn't take a lot of responsibility for themselves and possibly even blames others, past relationships, past friendships, past family history on why they are the way they are. Okay. So I, it's not that this person's a bad person. I just feel like um, you would want this person to meet, meet you with their best self. Right. So if you can say that this person has been like this, just make sure that when they do show up, they're bringing balance, they're bringing security and stability to you and not leaving you in your head crying or really emotional because you just want to help them or fix them. And they don't they don't want that. A lot of people have to to they need to to dig themselves out of their own places. You know, um, I, I can't help but feel like this person. I can't help but feel that maybe some of you guys have tried to actually help this person in more ways than one and it didn't help. Um, I, I almost feel like with this energy, there's just a level of victim here that it's like, you can't help this person. You want to help them. There's a lot of love there, right? But you can't help them at this point. And I feel like maybe you guys are recognizing that. Um, and maybe this person might be a little bit I don't want to say it, but I feel like maybe even pissed off because you're doing all right. You know, you're doing your thing. Um, you're still going. You're not holding on to um, nowhere near what this person might be holding on to when it comes to life. And I know that this is a lot and I'm not pulling to see what caused separation or anything like that. I just feel like this person might be a little bit hurt because of the separation, especially if you had to pull yourself away from the, the, the connection. So you see me hurting, you see me suffering, and now you left me too. Hmm. I'm just going to say, no, we're not doing that. Okay. We're not doing that. So, um, I don't know. I'm going to pull to see if this person is coming back, but I also feel like you guys need to be using that discernment and your intuition on when they do come back, because what you don't want to see is the same energy because I almost feel like you're probably drained by it. Not that they're a bad person, but you can't raise yourself and your kids and your household and work and pay all the bills and provide and then still have to be um like everything that this person needs to you know for them to lean on you can't do that to yourself um I can't help but feel like that's what this connection is all about for right now so let's just see if this person's gonna come back you got your nine of cups coming through so that's that's it. That's a wish fulfillment for some of you guys. We got that another wish fu fulfillment through the 10. So these are emotional and materialized wish fulfillments coming through. We also have the queen of cups coming through. So I, I can't help but feel like that is saying that this person may have grown. So if you guys, um, you know, through the separation, there's been no contact, right? I feel like what we're seeing is somebody actually working on their self, their mental, their emotional um, and spiritual selves. And that's really, really good. I feel like that's how you're going to want to see this person show up. So just make sure that intuitively you feel growth when this person does come back. Um, I, I feel like it, it, it's some hard work, but it's so worth it when we do that for ourselves. So I feel like what you might see, have seen once in this person is this is going to be something really refreshing when it does return you guys, which is awesome. So their intentions when they do come back through, their intentions when they come back through what do we got for their intentions their intentions look at that we got the page of cups coming through and i like that the page is coming through because the page brings something of substance you know when it comes to that connection and look at that here we have that king of swords and we have the knight so it's like you see growth from page to knight to king we have the seven of cups also showing up and I feel like this is just a lot of opportunities to advance and move forward. Right. Um, I love this. You guys, I do. Um, I feel like it's good. Some good energy. 
um, that you get to look forward to in a person that maybe you haven't seen. So a transformation. All right. Even though we don't have that death card coming through, I can't help but feel like physically, mentally, um, spiritually, emotionally, you're going to see a transformation of a human being when they do pop back up into your life. All right. So let's get some. We got some cards coming through. All right. Pay attention to the red flags. Know the warning signs of what an unhealthy connection looks like. And as I say that, okay, I'm not talking about right now. I'm talking about this was what you guys have seen. We've seen all that dark energy. You know, we've seen it. I called it out. You guys heard me. So now you know too for next time, right? So you're going to know if this person does not come back through in the way that you need them. And we got also magnetic connection, which seems applicable for this type of situation there's a very strong pull and intensity that draws you to this person now we got to figure out why okay um, not that you're attracted to red flags or anything like that but you also need to know what healthy looks like moving forward and I feel like through your guys's separation likely you're you're knowing now you're feeling um what to look for and it's not that there ain't love here because that's what this person is here to say. So they're coming through with love. Let's get one more. And we got open. Opening up. I am getting ready to say what's in my heart. I know that this love is true, unconditional, and everlasting kind of love. I want you to know that I'm trying to open up, but it's so hard for me to put my feelings for you into words. I know I have to do this, and I know that you need to hear them. And we also have love coming through. I want to make love to you, which I've never experienced before. I want intimacy in every way possible with you. I just want us to know each other like no one else before us has ever known. Your touch, your voice really heals me. And we'll get some initials. All right. And initials for you guys. We have S-U. J-Y. And FP. And I'm going to leave it there, Aquarius. You guys have a beautiful week ahead.